We're back out here at Rancho Del Rio, and we're going to be doing pretty much the exact same thing that we did yesterday, except for this time we're going to have a little bit more, let's just say, oomph to our shot. That's going to be a pretty good whitetail buck there. That actually might be a diamond potential whitetail. 230 to 273 and 258, I believe, is diamond. So that very well could be one right there. That rack is not quite big enough for a diamond, but that should be like a 235, maybe a 240 scoring whitetail buck. And he's definitely down. But here's this buck down here, and as we're getting closer to him, I'm actually thinking that that might be... Oh, you know what? You know what? One side is dime potential, and the other side I don't believe is quite dime potential. One side is the 230 rack, and the other side is the 250 rack, so... I mean, your guess is as good as mine. He's not wide enough, though, but he's definitely a sweet-looking buck, so I guess we're going to find out. He's going to be a 245.10. Such an interesting score estimate for that whitetail there, but 245, I don't believe I've ever gotten a 245 with that kind of a rack like that, so that's pretty cool. Nice double lung, 290 yards out, and there we go. Now that's a pretty special buck right there. Holy, 267 on the minimum on that buck right there. We're in the exact same spot that we were at yesterday and just spotted this guy. Whew. All right, let's see if we can't make an awesome shot on him. Now I know what you're probably thinking and yes, we definitely could have taken a shot right away in the very beginning, but he was actually quartering a little bit more uh, directly away than I really wanted him to be. Come on. So I decided to opt out on taking the shot in hopes that eventually he would turn and score up a little bit more broadside. Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> so... He started trotting really fast, right? He was about to get into the brush, right? He thought he was going to get away, right? But then he just got freaking heart shot on the trot. <laughs> oh, that was so epic. Man, I was waiting so long to take a perfect shot. I had kind of a nice quartering away shot in the beginning there, but I really wanted to get a little more of a broadside shot because the thing is, even though we have good penetration with this 308, a lot of times if you hit a little bit too far back, the intestine will actually catch that bullet before it gets a chance to get to the liver and or lung. But in this case here, we took a trotting shot and we smoked him. And there he lays right over here. I mean, he literally had five more feet, maybe. Five more feet and he would have been gone. He would have been behind that brush. He would have been behind that brush. Never would have seen him again. But guess what? Here he lays right here. A pretty awesome buck, actually. Uh, I'm going to say he's going to be another 280 plus, probably. Something like that. Just a phenomenal rack on him right there. So we'll take a cool picture of him. And yeah, let's find out what he's going to score. 267. And that was a heart shot. Double lung heart shot at 150 yards on the trot. Woo! He just got absolutely smoked. Wow, and a great buck down. Wow, he weighed 401 pounds as well. Holy, that is one heavy muley. I just came down to this canyon here and I spotted a beautiful whitetail buck. In fact, there he is right there. That's a giant whitetail, 250 yards out. Let's see if we can't make, ooh, that's another solid buck there as well. But that buck there just turned pretty broadside for us. And should have smoked him. Yeah, we definitely did smoke him. He is going down and then I wouldn't mind trying to put another shot on this other buck as well. But this spot here is really cool because I honestly didn't know that whitetail or even mule deer could come to this spot. We're so far to the east side here that I've never even seen deer um, within like 200 yards of this point here. So I thought, wait a second, is there really deer down there? And I looked and there was a bunch of deer down there. 
In fact, as we're waiting for this other buck to show himself, I'll show you the spot right now. Check out this canyon though. What an incredible valley here to look down and try and find some awesome bucks. Oh. And apparently we got a bobcat. It's only a female, but you know what? We're gonna take the shot. Tried for a hard shot. I held a little bit low to try and compensate for uh, like how high up we are here, but apparently. She is tough. Oh, and I'm empty. She is. Oh, what do we kick up? What do we kick up? There's something hauling right there. Oh, small muley buck. That's all right. We'll hold off on him. But as we're sitting here waiting for that other buck to show himself. Oh, there he is right there. Smoked him. I'm going to show you where we're at. We are way over here on the far east side of the map and we are well if i zoom out more i could probably show you we're way down here um just on the opposite side of this road here typically i always hug the inside of this road and kind of just work my way around and do like a circle in this area here but i've never actually ventured out this direction and we just took down all those white tail and that bobcat down here in this huge canyon so if there's whitetail here and mule deer here, that means they're going to go all the way down through here. So we're going to go hunt this whole area here and see if we can't find some giant box. Well, we already got one. So let's see if we can't find at least one more. I mean, it's not very often where you get an animal to go down in a sweet position like this. So we're going to take full advantage of this opportunity here. Oh, just like that right there. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, so anyways, let's pick her up. We pulled a little bit to the right. I think we compensated pretty well for that drop. Or I guess I should say raise. But I was a little bit too far to the right. If I was more left here, it probably would have worked out a little bit better. And we may have even pulled off a heart shot. Here is our white tail down. Nice right lung shot, 189, 210 yards out. Yeah, take a look at the raise we had there. I was holding for the center of the shoulder like maybe here and you can see just the angle of where that bullet came from because we're so high up shooting downwards but a solid white tail buck down there i remember we did get a big old white tail buck down over here as well and i'm hoping we can figure out where he went yeah we got some good blood right here as a matter of fact that should be him Ooh, but check this out. Look at this canyon here. Wow, we got more deer up here as well. That's definitely going to be him. Our big white tail is down right here. He's going to be like a 220 rack. Let's pick him up and find out what he's going to be. A 218 gold pulled off a nice 270 yard right lung shot on that beautiful white tail block. That's a pretty good bobcat out there at about 330 yards out. Now, yesterday we took down a coyote at 400 yards, so we should be able to put a pretty epic shot on this bobcat here. But we can't make a spine shot. We got to go for a double lung shot. And I think we just hit him perfectly. But apparently not. Wow. Nothing? It's all right. We can put one more shot into him here. Oh, I think we got him. Now you guys see how impressive that 400 yard shot was on that coyote. Pretty impressive. Well, it's not quite exactly what I was looking for, but then again, it kind of is. It's pretty sweet. We just found another dime potential animal and it's actually a bighorn sheep. We just got one yesterday. We took it down with the recurve bow, which was super epic. Now the problem is there's a really nice white tail buck right there, but I don't know where our bighorn is gonna go. So I think we should probably head over that ridge there and try and get eyes on him. Um, what my goal was, was to take down the buck and then the bighorn kind of simultaneously but because I didn't see the bighorn anymore, I didn't exactly want to take that buck and risk spooking the bighorn into Kingdom Come or to another county, basically. So we decided not to take the shot, and now we're going to get over there and try and spot him again. 
What was weird about that though is I saw two rams running, right? And I spotted one and it said it was a four. And I spotted the other one and I thought it said it was a three. Okay, yeah, that must have been the three. But then I saw it again and I thought, man, that looks massive. And all of a sudden I spotted it and it said five medium. And that is not him either. But he's got to be around here somewhere. There's a three. There's a four. Okay, so that's actually a max weight level four. And a three. And there is our big white tail buck. I just don't know what we should do. I'm kind of hanging tight on top of this mountain here. And I think we might just let them chill out a little bit. Because they're all kind of in the same area, right? I mean, we got our giant white tail buck there. He is down potential as well. But I just don't know where our big level 5 bighorn went. Alright, tell you what. I think we might take this shot here if I get one. was not the greatest idea I've ever had, but we did get him. All right, well, I think we might have got an intestine, potentially liver, just for good practice. Well, here's our big white tail down right here. Oh, okay. I am not even upset anymore. So I think what happened is the host left like right when I spawned in and now I cannot pick up this buck cannot pick up the buck what that means is that if we shot that diamond bighorn oh it worked oh that's because the host just left all right yeah that shot was not too pretty but he was a 224 177 yards out obviously I couldn't really take any more of a lead on that shot because the freaking mountain was right here So I had to hold it right here. That was it. That's the only place I could have held it um, But we got him. Oh my god. What did I just find? I Think I found his track guys This track here is a max weight track from a bighorn sheep that was not the same one that we saw because the one that we saw cut across that opening right there between those two mountains. This one actually veered off left. And what's rare about this is usually they stay in a group. Oh wait, there's the bobcat we shot before. So I'm wondering if... That bighorn... That bighorn had to have cut across right in front of where that bobcat was. That's what had to have happened. Oh, I thought that was him for sure. That is, that's definitely him right there. 170 yards out. No shot. Ooh, he's the big one too. Ooh, he's a giant. All right. We are not rushing this shot. Let's just take our time, ease our way over there, and try and get a nice shot on this big ram. All right, so the small one's gonna come out first, and the giant should come out right behind. The wind is not very good right now. Not at all. Come on, come on. There he is, there he is, there he is. Smoked him! We got him! Held it right on his front shoulder and we rolled him right over. Man, that was pretty epic. <laughs> I mean, I had a feeling he was coming out. I wasn't 100% for sure, but we also have a bunch of people next to us as well, so I knew we had to take a shot pretty quickly. And we pulled it off, and here he lays right here. He's got some massive curls on him as well. So I do believe he should be the bighorn diamond. The big diamond bighorn horn diamond. Whatever you want to call it. Yes, he is. He's a 172.20 diamond bighorn. Double lunged him at 101 yards out. 
smoked him right behind that front shoulder there and just dropped him right on the spot. Another massive diamond bighorn down. Heck yeah. I think that's like three in the last week. Two within two days though, because yesterday we got that giant with the uh, recurve bow, snuck up to him 20 yards away. This guy, he weighed 344 pounds. Ertag, what's up, dude? What's up? All right, so we're over here by Hertegs, and he wanted to get a really cool picture of us. So we're over here taking some pictures, and he's going to show off his skills with his shotgun. Very nice, very nice. And then I'm going to take some shots with the AR. All right, I should probably stop wasting bullets. I'm just all loaded on this rock. That's another beautiful white tail at about 415 yards out. He's actually quartering away slightly. And is that another good buck there too? Uh, decent buck, but this buck here is definitely the biggest one. I can't exactly tell if he's 450 or 415. I'm gonna go ahead and play it safe and hold for 415 and try and take an excellent shot. Smoked him. He is going down. And he's down right there. Take a look at that. You can see his rack sticking up right out of the ground. Oh, there's another big buck out there. That is not a good shot, though. All right, well, tell you what. Once we get over there, there's a good chance we should jump up that other buck. And when we do, then we'll be able to take him on the run, probably. I might even go open sights on him to tell you the truth. If he jumps up within like 100 yards out, yeah, we'll probably just go open sights. There they go right there. There's our big buck down there. I'm going to come over here quick and see if we can't get a good view of this nice buck first. Ooh, look at them all. That's not him. That's him. Wow. Is there two big bucks in there? Oh, yeah. There's a couple of big bucks in there. Two of them, three of them, three big bucks. Wow, that's a lot of bucks. Smoked him. Mm, the other buck took off. Nonetheless, we definitely got the big one down. So we actually got uh, two really good shots on two big bucks. We got one right here at 400 yards and the other one was right around 180 yards. Nice left lung at 403 yards, quartering away and we put that thing right on the money. Perfect quartering away shot, 211 gold white tail down. And then we got this white tail down right here. The other buck unfortunately took off and ran into that brush, but this buck here's another big white tail, 217, nice quartering away. Again, double lung shot at about 100 yards out and a 217 gold white tail down. But on that note there, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun and we took down a giant diamond bighorn at that. That's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.